Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code by weekly contest 94. It's a medium level problem and relatively better than the other medium level problem that you get. In fact, I would say all the four problems that we got into the contest now are, are relatively better or I would say the problem statement has made it a little bit complex. So yeah, let's see what this problem says. So the problem name is reward top K students. Okay. So you are given two string arrays, positive feedback and negative feedback containing the words denoting positive and negative feedback respectively okay note that no word is both positive and negative right so this this statement made the problem relatively easier okay now initially every student has zero points each positive word in a feedback feedback report increases the point of that student by three whereas each negative word decreases the point by one okay now remember the 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 <coughs> sorry the key thing is here each positive word in a feedback so if there are five positive words you will be tackling that feedback five times that's what i mean to say we'll see that into the code okay so you are given n feedback reports represented by a zero index string array report and a zero index integer array student id where student id of i represent the id of the student who has received the feedback report in short it says that you are given two arrays one array represents what is what is the id of that student and the second array represents that what is the feedback of that student with that id okay id of each student is unique so given an integer k return top k students after ranking them in non-increasing order by their points in case more than one student have the same point the one with the lower id ranks higher right big problem statement let's see what it wants to say it says that you are given array of words this is positive feedback this is negative feedback so these array contains some words so if these words come in a feedback they are positive if, if this word comes if these words comes in a feedback that is a negative thing okay now also uh, we have certain reports so okay i'm not able to drag but yeah uh, we have certain reports so uh once we have certain reports let me see how i can show you okay let me just write it okay i'll just write it down so the report is this student this student is studious suppose i write it like this okay all right so what will happen uh, and suppose the id of the student is one so what will happen here just see this word does this word come in positive or negative feedback no nothing will happen what about this one this word also doesn't come here or here what about this it also doesn't come what about this studious so studious studious comes in positive so that means for id number one whatever the score of the student is just incremented by three okay what if i add a word not here so what will happen here not comes in negative so what will happen initially the student had zero point when I come to this word, I see that, okay, it is present in negative feedback. So I, I decrement by it by one point. So it becomes minus one. Now, when I come to studious, I check it. Oh, it's it's in positive array. So I, I, I do plus three. So I get plus two. So this is the final score of the student. This is what we need to do. We need to do it for all these students and then return the top case students. Now, in case multiple students have the same score, I return the, uh, or I would say prefer the student having the lower uh, id that's it okay so it's an implementation based problem i don't know why the accuracy is so less uh, maybe people have uh, uh, skipped considering multiple uh, words in the same feedback but let's see what i have done uh, so nothing fancy needs to be explained here that is why i'm right uh, i'm right away moving to the code because no logic just do the implementation what the problem is saying so what i have done here is this is my answer error which i'll be returning and these are two a uh, set one contains the positive words one contains the negative word now why i have taken a set i have taken a set because searching in a set will be um will, will have a better complexity and will be relatively easier that's the main thing okay because initially you have string right so convert it into a set and then searching will become uh easy so that's why i have taken a set so what i do i populate my set i put all the positive words in this this set i i put all the negative words in this set right now what is this this is a map why i've taken it because i want to update the score of each and every student so that's the purpose of this map right now the number of reports that i have now this is the core logic what do you do pick up the current report split the words right like for example this student is studious is studious 
So you split it, you get four words. So that is what I have done. These are the words I get. Four words. Now I'll be searching each word in both of the sets. So what I do? This is my current word. If negative contains the current word, so you check whether this student ID is present in the map or not. If it is not present, put it into the map, initialize it by zero, and then decrement the score of this student by one. Okay. And if that word is present in positive, so you increment it by three. Simple stuff. After your loop is over, what do you do? You take a priority queue. Why? Because we need to find the top K students. And we have a couple of conditions. One is based on score. And if the scores are equal, then based on the ID. So what I have done, I have taken it. And then I have, uh, what is the comparator for this priority queue? It says that I, I'll, be, I'll be having pairs. Pairs. Pair of integers. And the first integer will represent the score. The second integer will represent the rank. So what, what is my comparator? It says that if two students have the same score, get key will give you the first value in the pair and get value will give you the second value in the pair. So if two students that are being compared have the same score, so return, so sort them based on the um, lower ID, the student having the lower ID. So that's why this. Otherwise, if the score is not equal, then the student having the uh, higher score will come, uh, will be preferred, will come at the top. So that's why I've done this, right? Once you have added all the things in the priority queue, or here you initialize the priority queue, add all the things in the priority queue, finally pull out the key items from the priority queue and return your answer. So you are pulling out an item, adding it, <coughs> sorry, adding it into your array and then decrementing K because you need to find the top K students, okay? So, totally based on implementation nothing fancy needed here but yeah it tests your data structure knowledge okay like taking a set taking a map how you optimize the thing that's what we are trying to test here okay so i hope you learned some, something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up also do subscribe to the channel if you find the content of this channel useful also in case of any queries mention that into the comments i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye